Hello all you space engineers out there. Commander Kingfish here and it is day 61 here on the frozen rock. Well in the last episode we finished up our underground base and we are I think getting close to the point that I want to build a ship or repurpose a ship to get to space and conclude season one. Uh, I've been playing this now for over a year on this particular uh, uh, season and I think it's time to start trying to wrap this up. So we want to build a ship that we can get off this rock and into space. And what I have the ability to build are hydrogen engines. So as you can see we've got this ship pretty much already somewhat designed uh, I think what I need to do is modify this seat. I think I can put a, uh, let's see, where are you at here? Uh, I think I can put one of these, uh, here. Let's get this turned the right way. So... Let's see, okay, yeah. So we would be able to set this on here, but I would need, I would need to be able to pipe up, let's turn, there we go. I would need to be able to pipe this up to put, uh, uh, have oxygen on the cab. And I can probably do that. Uh, unfortunately, the big port is on the bottom and so I don't know if I want to put something in coming in from the bottom or just uh, build onto uh, and then just plumb these two ports in and I think that that's probably the way I'm going to go about it actually you know one way I could do that let's let's take a look at this uh, if we do a hydrogen generator or an O2, where is it? Hydrogen engine. Actually, let's do it like this. O2. If I put one of these on there... I'd still have to pipe that in. I'm still going to run into the problem. All we'd be doing is just extending that out uh, with a block. So I think I think what I want to do is uh, conveyor off of here onto those on each side those two ports. So what I'm going to try to do is repurpose this ship, uh, add another hydrogen tank on top. I think this probably has enough power. It's just a matter of can I get enough hydrogen to get to space? And once we get to space, then we're going to call it uh, call it good. All right. So let me get to working on this. I am going to start making some modifications and once I get to that point uh, that I've made a few modifications on this uh, I will catch back up with you all see you in a bit okay uh, well I've managed to make some modifications to the ship uh, I put a uh, conveyor system in from here which is all tied into the uh, oxygen generators and the two hydrogen tanks uh, I am going to be able to fill these up with ice fully filled and I'm going to add one more uh, hydrogen tank on here and so we can get into the cab we've got a cab uh, as you can see 
the oxygen is high and it's warm in the cab uh, so I'm pretty confident in that and so if we hop back out and you can see that the oxygen has gone to low so we should that should all be connected so the next step for me is to see if we can't put another hydrogen tank and I think I am going to put it right on top uh, I might even put two hydrogen tanks on there what the hell let's see what that looks like and I still think because I had plenty of power I'm hoping I will still have plenty of power with all of these thrusters on here uh, and then this thruster here the the large thruster that I should be able to uh, get to space with this so let's uh, let me start to work on that let me see if I can get a couple of more hydrogen tanks on there at least one more and then we'll get those all filled and I'll fill the uh, compartments up with the ice and then uh, we'll just kind of take it from there I think this will work if not then we're gonna be back to the drawing board again and that's okay so all right I'll uh, catch back up with you here in just a little bit well I have uh, I think I have the ship uh, pretty much uh, done the way I uh, want it and uh, yeah it's all full of ice and I think I've got the setups done in here let's uh, do one more thing I, I actually oh you know what I do have one more thing I need to do and let's go G uh, groups and this needs to be switch lock switch lock there we go okay yep while I'm thinking about it all right let's hop off of here well let's take one last stroll around the base if all goes well, we're going to be off in space and saying so long. So we managed to get uh, solar panels set up and it's working off of the script. So when the sun comes up, it automatically rotates around. That was quite a, quite a while back we got that done. We got the large wind turbine set up. And as you can see off in the distances, we got bunkers set up to protect the base. We'll get over here a little bit closer to one. And we can uh, see these guys over here. They were autonomous. They had their own windmill and battery so that uh, they would uh, be able to continue to function uh, we kinda got a, a power generation station set up over here that was connected in we got uh, hydrogen engines and we have actually two hydrogen engines that are running uh, we've got uh, evaporators moisture evaporators that are generating ice and those are being fed in and uh, if we can come over here so let's take a look at this container uh, yeah every, the ice is just basically going right through directly over to these guys and I don't have a easy outlet to get into them but that's where the ice is going and that's keeping these tanks full as you can see and that's what's running the generator so uh, that uh, was uh, in the beginning what we used to fuel the base we have all these batteries as storage backup so we've been able to keep these uh, generated and full I think I've got like uh, 10 or 12 of them set in here and I think another reason why we need to get this wrapped up all of a sudden my uh, 
my frame rates are starting to drop, so I think it's starting to have an impact on uh, what I'm building and what I'm adding to this. Uh, so around, ah, shoot. So we got uh, assemblers. I had a mod assembler that I built. Uh, we have storage containers. Uh, we have the basic refinery or smelter that uh, is used to start with, and it was still needed to process some of the ores and stuff that was coming in. Uh, we've got a fabricator up here. We've got our uh, wire drawer right here. Our extruder right here. And then this should be the plate stamp. And then a munitions factory. Uh, we got an advanced assembler built. And then this uh, we put in a microelectronics factory. So we got that all built and put in there. Uh, some of the other stuff over here. Uh, the cement uh, kiln, which uh, we used a lot of cement. That's what most of our base and everything was built on. Uh, and then we had uh, a gravel compressor. We have our chemical refinery that was all plumbed in uh, next to our advanced assembler which was uh, all plumbed in. We uh, managed to get a synthetics factory built. Uh, and you get over here, we've got the ceramics furnace. And that's the cement kiln again. Uh, we've got a uh, incinerator that uh, we didn't use much. It was just there in case there was some excess. Uh, let's see. What, uh, this was the ceramics furnace so yeah that's all that part of that uh over here was as we was getting towards the end uh, this was my ill-fated attempt at trying to set up cameras uh our oil cracker which uh we used to uh synthesize some of the oil and stuff like that that came in and and then we had the bitume extractor which uh the uh, what is it? The oil sand that we brought in would uh, extract out the oil and stuff like that, and so that was all part of that process. And then we got our uh, advanced refinery or our main refinery here, and uh, we had it all hooked in. We managed to do a ore purifier, which that didn't work as well as I wanted, and I think it just has to do with getting things set up with uh, uh, these uh, conveyor sorters and getting the proper stuff blacklisted and that's one of the things that in my next build whatever I end up doing I'm going to have a much better refinery system set up I think that was part of the problem that I was running into in that this refinery would produce ores and then it would flood it out and just grab any storage the first storage it came to so what I really needed to do was have some large containers in between this refinery and the rest of the base and have those processed ores go into those large containers and then uh, they would get pulled in as needed from the other uh, for the other uh, processing uh, plants and yeah so we had this hooked up and then off over in the distance we had the uh, coal and let's uh, run back let's run over there real quick and take a look at it uh, we might as well look at all the stuff that we got built I'll remove that we'll hop onto this and Turn that off. And in the meanwhile, we would managed to build some some vehicles. We've got this, which was kind of one of my main cargo haulers. Uh, we managed to hook up using the mod with the power lines. And so that uh, allowed us to connect all of our 
bases together and have it uh, power everything. So also part of this coal uh, production facility, uh, we created steam power over here. And we'll get over here and take a look at this, if we can keep from running into something. All right. So we got this all built out. And let's park this, hop off. So we managed to get uh, the coal boiler set up, which then was connected into the steam turbines, which generated uh, electricity. <coughs> and we set up two of these over here to process this. And so we had one over here, and we had another coal boiler running off of that. We set up a couple of large con storage containers that we were able to uh, fill up and that would uh, that generated or that supplied coal to the uh, the coal boilers and those were all hooked in I think I I must have I think I did that uh, hooking them in underneath uh, is how they're all plumbed in if I remember correctly. Uh, and then, so to facilitate that, we didn't do this on all of the mines, but we did it on this one. We built a underground drilling system that uh, was able to mine our coal and we set up an operation system here and you could generate and operate it from right here and this uh, drilled into the coal field with those sets of drills on there and then uh, processed and that's what pulled it in and took it up to the facility up above so that was that was the coal facility over here so let's get back over over to the main plant again. And All right, turn that on. There we go. Well, that wasn't right. I'm forgetting how to drive here. There we go. Okay, back over. So that's a little bit of a tour of the base. And what we accomplished, uh, we have the garage and whatnot that we built out. see we'll take a look at the garage get this over here and parked all right let's uh, park this hop off of here uh, we can go out and through this way so we built the underground base portion which uh, created all the facilities and everything so we have an entrance down into here. We could get down into this away. Uh, we completed this just recently. So this was a uh, exit that would take us kind of an emergency exit that was uh, wrapped in and around. It would go through here and come out over there. Actually, you would come out of here and this down here uh, was a control room and this is kind of a server room that we put in where you could put all your 
programs in and whatnot. Uh, this was the medical room where we had a medical bay in uh, and a functioning medical room in itself. And we had exits on this end as well. And then we had the uh, living quarters that we uh, built. Uh, this was just sort of a living room with gaming and whatnot over in here. Uh, we had the shower rooms in here where we had showers built and uh, washroom facilities over here and then from here we had the sleeping quarters that we built we put those all in you had various bunk beds and a little more sophisticated uh, beds up here with lockers so uh, yeah we got this all in and then over here we got the kitchen where they can order and uh, cook and whatever uh, for breakfast lunch and dinner and kind of an area to, to hang out in as well so that was the underground base on this part uh, we get down here, uh, built a kind of a, a farming block where it didn't really grow any crops. Bit of a challenge on that, and I think it has to do with just trying to get the right materials. You need potassium and stuff uh, to make your fertilizer, and I obviously didn't find any of that. Uh, and so, but we were able to produce our synthetic food and with some of the supplement stuff that we got from the uh, unknown signals, we were able to uh, produce uh, food and water. And then ultimately, we originally kind of started with this area up here, which we called the garage. And this is where we put our original survival uh, pod uh, built that up and uh, moved down from the where we landed and if you go back and look at the first video you'll see that there was some challenges with that so I was kind of hoping it was going to get to be daylight a little bit here but I think ultimately it's time to see if we can test this out I was going to put parachutes on it but I don't have a loom or anything that I can make the canvas. So we're just going to, as always, like the commander does, is fly by the seat of our pants and see if we can't take off. So uh, let's uh, disconnect. Uh, the connection's removed. Let's hop in here. So we need to and actually I am going to pause right here for just a second. Okay, I'm back. I'm hoping that the air conditioning here in the uh, uh, tenement on wheels is not too loud that it's not overpowering. I don't think it is so all right, so we have. Uh, let's turn our batteries on. Uh, we need to turn the stockpile off on the tanks. We need to unlock this. And let's turn these on. And let's see if we can get off the ground here and start pointing our self up towards the stars. Hopefully, this is going to work. And we are gaining altitude. Holy smokes. We're leaving the planet. And hopefully <laughs> we're not going to run out of fuel. 
And uh, let's see if we can get into space. We're at uh, 3,600 meters and climbing. And uh, we still seem to have quite a bit of hydrogen. We're, uh, oh, uh, ooh, we got things changing, I think, uh, yeah, it's showing all the dirt on the window, we've, we've got into, no, if, uh, this all goes well, we will be in space, and then this will be the concluding Saga of the Frozen Rock. All right, we're going, we're gaining. And once we uh, make it to an asteroid, then it's a matter of just uh, making our way on home. Now I did fill up all three containers and We still have 93% hydrogen. Our cockpit is staying warm. All right. 13,000. And climbing. We're 92% hydrogen, but we are making hydrogen as we're climbing. I think 43 or 45,000 is where you break gravity. And as we can see over there, we're still at, we're at point 0.29 Gs. So we're getting less and less, 28. We're still climbing. We are starting to use some of our ice in the ice bins and my frame rates have con jumped considerably since we've left the surface and I think my base was just getting a little too big and bulky that it was starting to affect my frame rates down there so I think we're halfway to the stars We're going to keep going. Let's see what the view looks like from out here. And let's do a quick screenshot from right there. Yeah, I like that. Alright, back inside. Okay. Everything's looking good. All right, space, the final frontier. We're getting there, so... I'll tell you what, once I... Uh, once I start getting a little closer up there, I'll catch back up with you all. All right, I am back. I just cr uh, crossed the threshold of uh, gravity. I'm at zero, and we are in space. I was kind of hoping to see a uh, asteroid or two around here, but I'm not seeing any yet. Kind of surprised. Uh, but we are in space and floating around. Uh...
where are they? Where's the asteroids? I should have hit the asteroid belt. Okay, well, we may not find any asteroids. Well, I am going to wrap this uh, video up today. Uh, this is where we're going to uh, call the, the episode good. And we're going to actually wrap up the season. We made it to space. We built a ship. Or I modified a ship. I guess we probably could have made it to space a, uh, a long time ago. But this is our ship. We're in space. And uh, not sure where in hell all the asteroids went. But our home base is... Uh, 50 kilometers back down there and we are here just kind of drifting well all you space engineers out there keep building away uh, again this concludes this episode in season one uh, I have some ideas for the next season I'm just got to flush them all out on what I want to do so I'll start working on that. It'll probably be a couple of three weeks. I'm still on the road traveling, and I'm going to be on the road another another month. I still have my other videos I'm working on, and you'll still find those out there. Uh, but it might be a few weeks before I start my next, before I start season two. So anyway, all you space engineers, keep building away out there. If you like the video, please hit that thumbs up. Uh, it really helps the video out a lot. And uh, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, that uh, really helps channel out a lot. And if this is the first time you're watching the video, go back and uh, watch through some of the other videos that I have out there of Season 1. I think you'll enjoy it. All right, space engineers, keep building away. And with that, Commander Kingfish is out of here, and I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.